My name is Bruce Harris, and I'm a Senior Technical Solutions Consultant here at TPM. Today we're going to be talking about upgrading a BIM 360 design project to a newer version of Revit. Now most of the time when we start a project on a particular version of Revit, we tend to keep it in that version of Revit throughout the conclusion of the project. But sometimes projects are very long time span projects or maybe they get on hold and when they come back uh, there's a reason or a need to put them in a new version of Revit. Maybe there's a new feature in Revit that is particularly useful for what you're doing. So for any number of reasons you may want to upgrade a existing cloud Revit model to a new version and you're upgrading the entire project. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So with that said, let's switch over to our BIM 360. Now I'm over here in BIM 360 and I have a really simple project structure here. I've got my project files folder and underneath an architecture folder I have an architectural file, an MEP file under the MEP folder, and a structural file under structural and they are all referenced to each other. Now it is a 2018 project at this point in time, so if I were to bring up 2018 Revit, go to open. Now because it's 18.3, I can see both the old way, BIM 360 team, and the new way, BIM 360 document management. And go into my hub, go into this project, project files and say the architectural one and there it is available for me to use. Now the projects understand what version of Revit they were created in and I cannot see a 2019 project or a 2020 project in 2018. In fact I would not be able to see that unless it were the correct version. So back over to 360 design. Now where we're going to make this is we're going to change from document management and I'm up here. So document management to our project administration. Now you could be on different different tabs here when you come in but you're going to need to go to the services tab. And then you'll select document management over here. And then Revit Cloud Model Upgrades will be a choice. So I'm going to select Revit Cloud Model Upgrade. Now at this point in time, it is going to look through the project files that are there it sees that the current release of those files is 2018 and wants to ask me which version I want to upgrade to. So obviously I have two newer versions that are available to me at this point in time. I'm going to go ahead and take the project all the way up to 2020. So I'm going to simply hit upgrade. Now this message is very important so let's talk about it for a minute. Okay you have to make sure before you do this process that no other team members are in the project. They will no longer be able to sync any changes they have to the project and this upgrade will take some time. So they are absolutely correct in saying the upgrade will take some time. So you need to make sure that nobody's in it and everybody is going to understand that once this is done you can only open it in the new release. So I'm going to say that I have definitely read this and I understand what I'm doing and I'm going to upgrade. Now this process is going to take a while so it's 404 right now. I'm going to leave this and I'm going to come back when it's done. Alrighty, I just received an email. As a matter of fact, it sent me an email when I started the process and then it sent me an email when the process finished. Took about 11 minutes, but how long it takes is going to be dependent on how many models are in there. Remember, this was only three models, so it wasn't a very big one, but potentially it could take quite a long time. And 
please make sure you remember that no one can be in this project and if anybody has any information they have not synced with the project they need to do that before this project is upgraded or they'll lose that capability. Now one other thing to point out about this process is that it's only going to upgrade the Revit models that you are using in Revit. So if you just uploaded a model by the web interface or if you uploaded a model with the desktop connector, those models will not be affected by this. This is only the live models that we're working with in Revit. So let's go back to document management. Now, first off, our projects, we have the new Revit model there. And it gave us a new folder out here called the Revit Upgrade Report. And if I were to, say, open up this report, so I need to download the source file, I guess, first. And this is an HTML file, so it's just going to show me. It said the following mo models could upgrade but had issues. Okay, so only the MEP model um, had any issues. The rest of the models didn't have issues. And these are some connection issues that I knew existed in that Revit MEP file anyway. So this is nothing that is a problematic thing. So we're good to go. And it does give you this report says all eligible Revit Cloud models in this project have been upgraded and the following model so it only gives you this information if it has any issues and you can see if those issues are just like in this case some things that are not connected or maybe there are duplicate objects on top of each other so those are the kinds of things that I got in this upgrade report so I'm gonna switch over to Revit 2020 I'm going to go into this new project and I can see it in 2020 now which I could not see it in 2020 when it was a Revit 2018 project and now I can open up those files so I'm opening it from the cloud in the new version this is 2020 Revit and the original version of the product was 2018. So now we are up and ready to go. So I opened up on my starting page, but as you can see from my browser, I have a complete plan here and I can go into, you know, any any plan that I want. It is truly a 2020 project now. So the key points to take away from this are when you do this, you cannot open it back with an older version, or if someone had not synced their changes, they cannot sync changes to it. And going forward, it is a 2020 project. It cannot go backwards. So this must be done with the entire team's knowledge that this is what we want to take place and that everybody is in a position to take this project forward in the new version. Hope you've enjoyed this video and it was useful. Thank you for watching another in our continuing series of 4 Minute Fridays from TPM. Look for us at TPM.com or you can subscribe to TPM Solutions channel on YouTube. Once again, thank you for watching.